Hey there guys, so the Evercade, am I right? Of course I am. Anyway, the Evercade's something that exists, I suppose, but there's no Capcom games on it, which is a problem that should be fixed sooner rather than later. But for now, all we can do is talk about it, and uh, well, let's talk about what Evercade should do. But before we do, I want to mention that Capcom isn't my most requested publisher for the Evercade. That of course would be Konami. But based on Capcom's history of working with companies such as At Games and My Arcade, they've shown a willingness to license out their games to these lower end gaming devices. But of course, a couple issues come up when mentioning those other devices. First, and most obvious, is the low end emulation on those. This is something I know Evercade could do much better. Second is, of course, the simple fact of physicality the cartridge based medium brings. That alone is huge to someone who believes in video game preservation like myself. And finally, the overall game selection from those other devices has been quite poor. Mega Man, Ghosts and Goblins, and Street Fighter 2. All good games, don't get me wrong, and ones that I'd want to see on the Evercade, emulated properly of course. But there's so much more from Capcom I want to see. So let's go and dive on into a few Capcom collections. To start off with Capcom Collection 1, we're going to get a few NES games in there. Mega Man 2, Mega Man 4, Ghosts and Goblins, Bionic Commando, and Gargoyles Quest 2, and also throw in the Master System version of Ghouls and Ghosts. All of these are iconic Capcom games from the 8-bit era. Now you might be wondering why not add more, 6 games doesn't seem like a very large collection, and I could agree with that. However, trying to stay within the $20 price point, I feel like this is a good value. Moving on to the Capcom collection number two, we're going to have some Super Nintendo and Genesis games. So in this collection we have Mega Man X, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Breath of Fire, Strider, Super Street Fighter 2, and Forgotten Worlds. This one right here brings tons of value and a good variety, while once again sticking to the six game format. Next, in a Capcom Collection 3, I'd like to see Ghouls and Ghosts from the Genesis, Demon's Crest, Breath of Fire 2, Final Fight, Knights of the Round, and Mega Man X3. So as you can tell over these three collections, we have a very good assortment of Capcom games. And for $60, this is an amazing deal, in my opinion. Recently, Evercade has announced the Pico Collection 2, which includes a PlayStation 1 game. With that in mind, I decided to throw together a collection that included some 32-bit games. However, unsure of how powerful the Evercade really is in emulating some of these 32-bit games, I try to limit them to 2D games. However, if the Evercade is capable of running games that are more 3D-based, you can definitely believe that Resident Evil and Dino Crisis would be in this collection. With that said, in the Capcom Collection 4, I would like to see Breath of Fire 3 and Breath of Fire 4, as well as Street Fighter Alpha 3 from Sega Saturn, Strider 2, and Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo from either the Saturn or the PlayStation. Now obviously this is only 5 games, but I feel the price would be justified as these are 32-bit games compared to the 8 and 16-bit games on the other collections. So that's all the collections I've got put together so far, I feel like this makes a lot of sense and it seems very doable. However, I do want to talk about other games that Capcom could put together in Evercade collections. I've already mentioned other 32-bit games, and depending on the power of the Evercade, would love to see those. But if we were to go back to the 8-bit generation, the Game Boy and the Game Gear both had some Capcom games on there. So if they were to do a Capcom Collection 5, for example, they could call it the Handheld Collection or something. It could easily include some of the Mega Man games, maybe the Game Boy version of Bionic Commando, and of course I wouldn't complain getting the first Gargoyles Quest. Maybe we could even get the Game Gear version of Mega Man. Granted it's not very good, but it would be cool to see it get a re-release. If you want to know a little bit more about that, check the card above to see the Mega Man complete timeline that I made. Before we close this out, I do want to talk about arcade games from Capcom. As we know, next year Evercade will be releasing arcade games on the Evercade, but we don't really know from whom. We could obviously assume from Data East, Atari, and other companies they already have licenses through, but if they start releasing games from Capcom, it's easy to assume that they will also do an arcade collection. 
So of course, some of the ones that I would want to see are arcade versions of Street Fighter 2, Ghosts and Goblins, 1942, Final Fight, maybe Captain Commando. Wasn't there an arcade version of Mega Man? Maybe throw that on there too. So as you can tell, there's tons of games I'd like to see from Capcom come to the Evercade. And these are just some of my ideas for future collections. If you guys have any suggestions for games from Capcom that you want to see, let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoy this wish list type video, don't forget to like the video, let me know down in the comments, and maybe I'll do some more for other companies. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.